We've made a number of videos, guys, talking about The Last of Us Part 2, and uh, I know, guys, that some of you have been waiting and waiting for me to give you my official review of The Last of Us Part 2, which will be coming very shortly, guys, and you guys can, of course, you know, just make sure that you're subscribed and you get notifications because that will be coming at some point sooner rather than later. I just want to make sure, guys, that when I do reviews of games here on the YouTube channel, that I really want to make sure that... I've given myself enough time to really kind of absorb everything that I just witnessed and give myself some time to really, you know, flesh out some ideas, be able to jot those things down on paper and just kind of really, um, you know, give my own, you know, true opinions of a game, especially like The Last of Us Part II, uh, which has had a lot of controversy, lots of people talking about it, so on and so forth. So so stay tuned for my late review of, of The Last of Us Part II. But with that, guys, I want to talk about, in this segment of the show, will we see The Last of Us Part Three? Is that going to be something that's going to be coming out at some point in the future? Now, guys, uh, be aware, I'm not going to be uh, get, putting out any spoilers, right? That will be more so for my review and such. I'm not going to do any spoilers here. But from what we know so far, and a lot of you, of course, have probably already beaten the game and such, we're just going to be giving our honest, you know, take here on whether or not there's going to be a continuation of this franchise, especially seeing as how the amount of backlash that there was with The Last of Us Part 2. And so let's talk about it. I think it's important, guys, that when we talk about The Last of Us Part 2, we kind of preface this around a number of things. Number one is, guys, is that this was one of the most, I believe it actually was the, the most pre-ordered game in PlayStation's history, which is a big deal, guys. I mean, a huge deal, right? Game comes out, and of course, there's a lot of backlash. And But I think, guys, we have to think about, you know, a number of things here. Number one is, is that when you look at really any massive game out there, there's going to be things, typically speaking, within them that there's where there's some form of controversy. Now, Naughty Dog, they're not, they haven't really been very accustomed to doing this uh, very often in their titles up to this point. You have the Uncharted series, and then, of course, with The Last of Us, we've only had one game, and that wasn't necessarily controversial. The second one, however, the way that, you know, they treated certain characters and things of that nature, that's where the major complaints are. With that, though, Think of games and, and developers like Rockstar, right? Rockstar Games, guys, they are one of those companies that typically, throughout the course of, of, of their history, they've brought out games that are controversial, but it gets people talking, it gets people buying the games, and then when the, you know, the, the next games come out in those specific franchises, people will buy them, and Rockstar has built this reputation of, you know, they take their time with their games, and they make these incredibly looking, incredible looking games, as well as these pretty immersive stories and then they make them full packages where there's online elements and things of that nature which just really builds the the, the fan base and and gets people you know um concurrently you know concurrent players and in such and so what i'm getting at here guys is why i'm comparing rockstar games to this is you know, when we look at Naughty Dog, they are somewhat, this may be the the first game that they've made up to this point where they're taking a turn as a company where they're going to be making games moving forward that have forms of controversy within them. And when I mean controversy, guys, I'm talking like, you know, pretty major things. And I mean, I think that The Last of Us Part Two has some significant contra controversial things within it, guys. I mean, you can even talk about the grisly violence in it. You can talk about you know, from just, I mean, a story perspective, I mean, you know, a character perspective, there's so many different things that you could kind of point to that could have some form of controversy. But with that, the question is, is will we see The Last of Us Part 3? And I got to say, guys, I think absolutely we are going to see a third game in this franchise. And look, you know, I know that people, there are some of you out there and there, you know, seems to be a lot of people out there that just didn't really like, you know, some of the, the some of the direction that they went in, right, with The Last of Us Part 2. However, a lot of us, you know, have looked at, you know, everything within, you know, with, within the game and we've gone through it a couple of times or we've kind of thought about it, right? And you know, some of us love it, some of us hate it, and some of us are kind of in between where, you know, you know, you like aspects of it and there's things that you don't like about it. But I think that you can't get over 
the simple fact of the number of people who have played this game, the number of copies sold and such. So what I'm getting at is Naughty Dog has done a great job of, you know, creating a very, you know, uh, I mean, a controversial, you know, an immersive story here. And they have, you know, really done a good job with marketing, which of course, like, you know, a lot of this has been just building up over the years. And I think that it's important that when we kind of think about, you know, would the third game, you know, will it come out at some point? I, I do believe it. And the reason is, guys, is because the sheer amount of sales, okay? I mean, look, when you think about it, there's two things that can really hurt a franchise. Number one is having bad reviews. And the second would be having bad sales. But typically speaking, if you have one or the other, um, a lot of times you may see a continuation if the other, you know, the other part of that, of those two, it does really well. So if you get really good reception, but poor sales, a lot of times the sales sometimes will dictate whether there's another game that comes out or not, because at the end of the day, guys, this is a business. So, but if you get bad reception on a game, but you get incredible sales, a lot of times, you know, developers will decide to continue just because of the sheer amount of, you know, copies sold and how much money the studio made from that. So I think at this point, guys, The Last of Us has kind of become a staple now in gaming, uh, especially for Sony, as well as Naughty Dog, where it's it's like there definitely has to be another one. And even if there's only one more, they kind of round out the, the trilogy of The Last of Us. I think that it, it's only, you know, expected that there's going to be a trilogy here. Um, now, whether or not that was the plan all along, or if they were planning on just kind of going one game at a time, or they're planning on kind of doing what they do with Uncharted, making four games, whatever the case might be, I think that you know, they are going to make a Last of Us Part 3. Um, and I'm not even going based on just how the, the ending and such, guys. I just think that there's a lot more stories to be told here within The Last of Us in, the, in that universe, right? No matter what happens, guys, at the end, which we're, like I said, we're not getting into spoilers here. I think it's important that they're, they're going to, there's going to be just more stories to be told within this world, within what they've built here. And so even if it's just one more game, I mean, maybe the, they can end it with a, with a third game. But I just think that there's countless amounts of, of stories left to be told here. Now with that, Naughty Dog, is Last of Us Part 3 going to be the next game they work on? That's another question, guys. And I think... We really have to look at, you know, Uncharted, I think that, you know, Nathan Drake's story is certainly over. Um, maybe he comes back, who knows, as a side character, but I think that they're, they are going to continue the Uncharted story simply because of that's another game that did incredibly well. And I think Naughty Dog would be smart to be working on more, you know, on more games than just one, especially with the backlash that they got from The Last of Us Part Two. Whether we all think it's just or not just is another conversation for another day. But you think of you think of Rockstar, right? They're going to be coming out with GTA 6 most likely, Max Payne 4, Red Dead Redemption 3, maybe Bully, maybe LA Noir 2. What I'm getting at is, is they got a bunch of IPs here that they're able to kind of work with. Whereas Naughty Dog, they can work on some new IPs that, that, that they want, or they can continue working on the IPs they currently got, that being, you know, Uncharted as well as The Last of Us. And I think it would be really smart for them to maybe kind of go back and forth, work on, you know, another Uncharted title, work on, you know, another Last of Us game, maybe even work on another, you know, new IP. Because with a game like The Last of Us Part Two doing so well, they probably will be able to bring on more staff, more people to start working on other projects. And so with that, guys, here's the thing. Last of Us Part 3, I don't think it's probably going to come out anytime soon. I mean, look, guys, between The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2, I mean, we're talking a number of years. And now I think they're, they may even take even more time here to make Part 3. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Naughty Dog may be one of those companies that just decides to work on one project at a time and not even, you know, deal with, you know, working on multiple things at once. I think they may very well just work on one project. So what I will say is, is that if they're planning on just working on one project at a time, I would say Uncharted is actually going to get another continuation in one way or another, whether that's Nathan Drake, which I doubt, but it'll probably be somebody else within that universe. I think that that world has a lot to, to still share at this point. And then, 
The Last of Us Part 3 would probably come out after that. But let's just say we're probably a number of years away from, from having a, The Last of Us Part 3. And they're not even completed here with The Last of Us Part 2. From a multiplayer perspective, Factions is supposed to be coming back. So... We still got a long journey here with The Last of Us Part Two, even after beating the game and such. I think there's still a, a lot that's going to be here, and I'm excited for that. I can't wait for that. But I do believe, guys, unless they tie up the story completely within DLC or something, there is absolutely going to be a Part 3. And uh, I, I, I honestly, guys, I'd be excited for it. I really would. I think that Naughty Dog, they are, they, they, they're starting to remind me more and more of Rockstar. They kind of are, you know, even even though there's going to be controversy controversy within you know the these games now pretty much moving forward most likely I, I think that Naughty Dog wants to create stories that they want to tell. They don't want to hold back at all. And I kind of really, I like that from a developer like Naughty Dog. I like that they they want to be different. They want to uh, make these, you know, these very visceral types of experiences within their games and you know they spend years on you know doing it years of hard work and you got to respect that in the end of the day but let me know guys do you think the last of us part three is going to be coming out or do you think that the last of us part two was the end of the story do you think there's more stories to tell or not let me know in the comment section down below and for more the last of us part three and the last of us content in videos stay here with zero tv